All right, it's time for our Friday favorites. Uh, Lord is filling in today, and what'd you pick? I didn't really understand the uh, explanation for the assignment, so I may not have picked the right thing, but this is my favorite story okay. of the week. Well, okay. that sounds like you did the assignment. <laughs> Wednesday night, Black Hawks rookie Connor Bedard made history during his second NHL game. Now well, Bedard with a shot, saved by Omar. Coming around is Bedard, he scores! His first National Hockey League goal! Like, doesn't that make you happy? It does right? make you happy, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, um, but, and I don't know anything about hockey, by the way. Okay, like, but you're excited for Connor I'm Bedard. Cuban. We don't play hockey, yeah, okay? Exactly. Well, I don't know yeah, anything yeah, yeah, yeah. about it. Uh, Bedard, though, scored his first career goal against the Bruins. We've now learned that he's not the first in his family to do exactly that. His great-great-uncle, James Bedard, was a defenseman for the Blackhawks for two seasons from 1949 to 1951. Wow. Uh, during that time, he scored just one goal, and it came against the Boston Bruins in, in February of 1951, yeah. so 70 years okay. ago. So, so for not like knowing anything about hockey, you really dropped some knowledge on us yeah. about this guy. So I mean, I read well it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, okay, you did stick to the assignment. I think sort after of, Skilling yeah. and made the announcement yesterday, you probably could have you know, picked that one, but maybe that was now was your new favorite. I was going to, but I yeah. thought that was going to be all over the newscast. So I was ah, trying to be different. God, mix it up yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. That She's makes keeping us on our toes, Dan. Just right. keeping things fresh over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bringing some you of that welcome. 4 p.m. energy yeah, here welcome. to the uh, yeah. early 4 uh, energy. news yeah. here. Uh, <laughs> I picked up people pretending to be tornadoes spinning in circles, so yours was much more oh, informative okay. than mine. Thank you, Mark.